Dome Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the NBA. So y'all check this out. Hey, you know, we hear about Anthony Davis wanting to go somewhere. He wants to uh, get out of New Orleans. He doesn't feel like he's going to get a, um, uh, you know, going to make the playoffs or get a title in New Orleans. This is what's going on in the NBA nowadays. Listen, let me make this one as short as possible. First, we'll talk Golden State. That's where the problem started. Golden State, basically, when you had uh, Clay Thompson, your boy Steph Curry, and Draymond Green coming in, filling in for David Lee at the time, building something there, that's great. These guys become greatest of all time, the greatest shooter of all time, and the, probably the second or third greatest shooter of all time on the same team. Then it doesn't really matter. Right? Well, the problem begins is when a Kevin Durant, who is in the best player of the, in the whole game, goes to a team with 73 wins, the most in history, right? Coming to a team like that. That's when it, the Golden State hate starts coming. This becomes too much. Now you're putting Boogie Cousins in the mix. And you have a lineup in the middle of the NBA filled with five all-stars, right? And we can call them perennial because all of them should be there often. Right, Boogie is one of the best centers in the. Let's not let's not forget that because we see in uh, in B right now and stuff. Boogie Cousins is it's, it's not the. He is in the top three centers in the league when he's healthy. Right, we know that. Why is that he's on Golden State? Why do these people want to play together? It's going to tank some careers. That's how I think about it. A lot of the there's just way too much firepower, and I don't understand why the players want that. And, and the fans should get a little bit upset. That's a little bit too much. But okay, it is what it is. So it's making other teams try to do outlandish things, right? So <clears throat> the Lakers got LeBron James, which I wasn't for. I am an old school guy who would rather the youth do their thing. But we're trying to get titles. Lakers is a different thing, right? It's in other leagues, all over the leagues. If it's soccer leagues, American football leagues, whatever kind of leagues you're doing. You, you know, you want to win. There's teams that have more resources or there's teams that have more tradition that win more than others, right? Do we like them and we don't? Well, at the end of the day, uh, getting LeBron James, you know, you want to pair him with someone else to be the Robin in this in this case, right? And Anthony Davis, uh, we look for Anthony Davis. But rumor has the people you want to give, give away for Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is one of the top three players in the league as well. Top three players, not in position, players. When it comes to efficiency, he's probably going to be first. Back in the day, like when Kevin uh, Kevin um, Garnett was playing. You know, you got a guy who's going to be in points, rebounding, assist decently, block, shots blocked, and steals, right? Very rarely. You know, that's Hakeem Olajuwon type of stuff. You know, Kevin Garnett type of stuff, right? Those kind of players. This is what Anthony Davis brings to the table, right? He can even handle the ball a lot better than he does. He just doesn't. Because, you know, there's always a guard there. But if you probably let him play the one for a while, he could do it for short uh, for a while. He used to do it in high school. Bottom line is this. Lakers get him. They got to give up not only draft picks, but about four of the five young players. So we'll just go through a scenario of just four of, of the players. Let's say you're giving away Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, Zubac, and Josh Hart. Let's say we're leaving uh, Lonzo Ball there. Right, and you give him one someone else, <clears throat> which I hear could be the Lance Stevenson or Caldwell Pope. It doesn't matter. My point here is, if that happens, the New Orleans uh, Pelicans will make the playoffs. That's going to be, you know, they're five games out of playoffs right now, something like that. I think they can catch it. If this deal is done in the next days, where they still have about 30 games to play, then it's on. I think they can make the playoffs with that team because you're talking about a starting lineup because you've got to remember who the Pelicans don't have to give up. Drew Holiday is elite, right? It's just because he's playing over there, he's not getting the love and he's in a small market. Drew Holiday in a big market is a whole different ballgame. He's elite, guys. So you have him on the one or the two. Doesn't matter which one. Either one, Drew Holiday is elite. And you still have Julius Randle. There's another, bring me to another thing. All them Lakers go to New Orleans. I'm watching New Orleans for a while. There's just too many Lakers. I'm not from the school. Of, I, I don't like trades, guys. Let me make that clear. That's the part of the season I don't particularly like. You know, you get affiliated. You get attached to somebody and they leave. Him. I'm not going to uh, say, well, Kyle Kuzma, you're gone. I've been watching him all this time. The growth of 
Ingram. You oh, see you later. I don't care what you do anymore. Even Julius Randle. I just didn't like the fact that Julius Randle won't never use his right hand. Right? <clears throat> but he's starting to do that now. Zubac <clears throat> is on the rise. Josh Hart is the best defender. Plays it with his chest. All right? Gets in front of people, plays it with his chest. Those kind of players, I don't follow them over there. Now Julius is over there too. That's Lakers for last year and a half. So I will be watching New Orleans as well. I ain't going to, you know, you know, jump on my Lakers and leave them. But I'm just saying, I'm watching New Orleans. That's how I roll. You know, I'm not good. Well, I'll be watching them. And I would expect them to make the playoffs with that team because you would talk about Drew, Drew Holiday maybe on the one, Brandon Ingram on the two, Kuzma on the three or the four. But if you want to keep Julius Randle on the lineup, then put Kuzma on the three for a minute, Zubac on the five. That's a good lineup. And who you got on the bench? Josh Hart? Peyton? Right? Meritage? Wesley Johnson? Solomon Hill? And then Okafor. That team's making the playoffs. Period. Now, I don't know if the Lakers would make the playoffs. Probably would. With LeBron. The bottom line, the bottom line is that you got LeBron and you got Anthony Davis. And we'll figure everything else out. Call it dude, free dudes from the street. <laughs> that's, you know, that's probably what people are thinking. And that is they're talking about. Uh, longevity as well, because uh, your boy Anthony Davis is 25, about to be 26. So there's youth there. <clears throat> uh, but the bottom line here of this video is this. We trade away four of our five young players to New Orleans in the next week or two. New Orleans is going to make the playoffs. That's my prediction. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.